Lil Dirt, you is not going to hell. Lil Dirt, you is not going to hell. Lil Dirt seemed to think that he's going to hell. But I'm going to tell you why he's not going to hell. Shouts out the Muslims. Shouts out the uh, Islam. Ramadan. All of that. Salute the little dirt. But I'm going to tell you why you're not going to hell. So y'all, if y'all real little dirt fans, y'all tag him in this. Y'all um, send it to his DM. Y'all make sure this get to his eyes. So let me do a little explaining. And I'm passionate about this. So forgive me if I make a mistake. So anyway, before his album, he met with the mayor of Chicago to stop the peace. Right before his album, he dropped the hit All My Life with J. Cole. It's the new We Are The World, We Are The Chip. It's the new freaking soundtrack of America. So much, I'm going to get into it. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So much that a homeless man was planted in his tent, in his projector. And I posted that up this morning. That's why y'all need to subscribe. That's why y'all need to hit the bell notification. Go check out the old videos. Go like those. I just dropped a video this morning. A couple of videos under this. Little Dirt went and got the man a hotel room for 30 days. Got him a lot of gift cards, gave him cash money, and he won't even gonna put the man on camera. But he asked him, "Is it okay? Do he want to be?" The guy said, "Sure." Listen, Dirt. The reason why I say Lil Dirt think he's going to hell, and I'm gonna tell you why you're not. Here we go. Lil Dirt said on his song, "If y'all don't believe me, Pellicoat." And Alicia Keys was talking at the beginning because, <coughs> excuse me, I told y'all I ain't edited nothing out. It was called therapy session. So she told him to let everything out. So Lil Dirt say this on his lyrics, and I'm on Genius.com, you guys. GeniusLyrics.com. Shouts out to Genius. Anyway, it says, um, I send money to jails. I send money for funerals, even though they going to hell. For all them niggas they killed. You know I'm part of my brothers. Them forever, ever, I'm going to hell. So he thinks for the murders that his brother committed. For the past that he lived once before he got scraped. He thinks that he's automatically going to hell. Let me tell you something, little dirt. God will forgive you if you right your wrongs. God is a forgiving God. It's only one thing that God would not forgive you for. And that's blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. In the Bible I serve. In the Bible I serve. You can repent for anything. I'm a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I don't know y'all religion. And I'm not trying to debate religions. I'm going to look into what being a Muslim is. But my God is a forgiving God. He'll forgive you for anything besides blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. So you clearly think that you're going to hell for all the bodies that you attached to or used to be attached to or your homeboys or your brothers. But look, dirt. Every time you go help a homeless person, every time you help somebody, every time you ask the Lord for forgiveness, every time you pray, every time you fast, every time you ask the Lord to forgive you, he will forgive you. He will forget it. You can put your problems in his hand. You are around for a reason. They really want Durkio. When they killed Noopsy, you was in the store. They wanted Durkio. They killed D Thang to hurt Durkio. They killed King Von to hurt Durkio. T Roy killed, hurt Durkio. All these bodies back and forth. The hurt Durkio. The hurt Lil Reese. The hurt Chief Keith. Listen, you carry yourself as a king. Bro, I'm older than you. I admire you. I look up to you. The worst news I can get, wake up the little dirt dead. 
And I'm thinking you thinking you're going to hell. Look, Dirk, you is not going to hell, gang. I swear to God, look, Dirk, you is not going to hell. All you have to do, you my favorite artist, all you have to do is ask the Lord to forgive you and forgive your brothers for all y'all sins. And you mean it. Confess with your mouth and believe with your heart. And God will forgive you for your sins. So hell was where you were going in the past because you was in the streets. But your future is so much brighter. How about you, India, and all your pretty little kids? Y'all go to heaven. How about that? Now, I don't know about Muslims, and I don't know how that works. But if you think you're going to hell with the God you serve, come over here to Christianity, to the God I serve. Because he'll forgive you for anything. Lil Dirt, you my favorite artist. It literally touched my heart. And I'm from the slums just like you. I hardly have a heart. But for you to go help that homeless man. For you to help all these people. All the things you do. But people only talk about your beef with young boy. Your beef with this person. The op sliding. I don't care about that. I'm looking at all the good things you do, gang. And I think a good person like you that done changed the world, that's the, really the voice. If you the voice, Lil Dirt, and you really is, look how many people is going to Islam now. Just because of you. Look how many people converting to Islam because of you. You's a king, gang. You was an influencer. So, so many people that accept that they're going to hell because little dirt going. That's how much people love you. Bro, you don't have to go to hell. It's a choice. We got free will. And I don't want to see you in hell. I want to see you in, I want to see you at the concert. I want to see you living your life. I love your life, man. I love to see a black man on top. But what is the point of a man to gain the world and lose his soul? See, these other people care about your music. They care about uh, what you can bring to them. I care about your soul, little dirt. You done gain the world. You live in heaven on earth. Besides all the death you had to deal with. So why not live on heaven on earth and heaven in heaven when you leave? Instead of living on heaven on earth and, you know, Hell, and something else you said that uh, I'm going to elaborate on and I love. Um, I love the way you move. You move strategically. You move in silence. And you stand on what you stand on. But what I love about you the most, little Dirt, that you really is relatable. When you speak in your music, it's ridiculous. I done played 300 euros. At least a thousand times and I'm one man. And that's my favorite song off the album, 300 Years. The sad song was amazing with the India. Man, you are a marketing genius. Man, the world needs you. And you can direct so many people to go to heaven. Because everybody love you. So you're not going to hell or dirt. Keep doing right. Repent. And something you said that really touched my heart. You said on a DJ Academics interview. That you don't let India, your mama, your daddy, the people you love, see you weep. You do it when you're praying. You do it when you're alone. I do the same thing. People don't understand how it feel to lose your brothers. How it feel... For your hood to turn on you. How it feel for them to tell you. You can't come back to your own hood. That shit tickled my stomach. He offered me protection. That shit tickled my stomach. He a gangster around her. He ain't a gangster around me. He be gangster around cuz. He ain't gangster around C. Come on man. I'm the first one with the 100 with a lamb truck. Man that shit. 
man, look, little Dirk, I need you to go to heaven. I need to meet you in little heaven, gang. But in the future, we'll do some music together, all that, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, NBA young boy, don't be mad at me. Your music dope, too. I just relate to Dirk a lot more. So don't think I'm your op. I want you to go to heaven as well. So I know you get mad at anybody that collaborate or fuck with Dirk. So listen, young boy, I hope you go to heaven, too. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But R.I.P. to Vaughn, R.I.P. to D Thing, R.I.P. to all the fellas. I holla, gang. Woohoo! Links are in the description. If you want to support, go get you a cup. Go get you a bag. For you can put a bag in a bag. How about this bag? Support. Links are in the description. What about a hoodie? What about a notepad? Support. Send me a picture. I post it on my IG. Support. Get a book. Get another book. I'm an entrepreneur. Support. Support. Many different options of merch. The links are below. They are in the description. They are below. They're easy to find. Support me. And I appreciate all the love and I'll support you back. Also, subscribe to my music channel. Like every video.